G'day guys, it's Jai here and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. So basically, huge disclaimer, huge, huge, huge disclaimer. Basically, A, if you are scared easily or faint-hearted or under the age of 13, do not watch this. If you are sensitive to self-harm and anything along those lines, do not watch this video. I cannot stress it enough. Because apparently there's some dark scenes, even though this looks absolutely adorable. There are some dark scenes in this. So we're just gonna play a brand spanking new game. Enter your name. Ooh. My name. Well, am I supposed to be a girl or boy? I'm gonna just say Jaro. Just gonna say Jaro, because I don't know if I'm supposed to be a girl or a boy. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she is totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. This girl's Sayori. Nice name. My name ain't good friends since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sight an idol in front of a crosswalk and let her already catch up with me. Ha! I imagine her be like, ha, Hi, how are you? I almost slept again. But I caught you this time. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, that's me. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You said like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Jara. <laughs> well, if people are staring at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Okay, so I'm a guy. Could be a girl. Not saying. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you just don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, so say Ori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. There's music though. <laughs> Alright, let's fix this now. Uh, fun little dance session. Uh, yeah. By the way, Jara, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our main conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. <laughs> yes! Oh, me and my friend. Honestly, I just ignore her so many times. Zuri likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on an average, uh, by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Is this me? Like, hello, I'm stuck in a video game. Can someone get me out? Huh? I was talking about, I was talking about how I'm worried you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Yeah, happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy, but I would die at the thought you'd be coming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a neat? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright, jeez, calm down. I'll look at a few clothes if it makes you happy. No promises, though. We at least promise you would try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I keep let get lectured by this carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I'm even like my, English hard. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worried so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. 
And she does exaggerate everything inside of her own head. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Literally me today. <sighs> clubs. Siori wanted me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I spaced out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you come out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spaced out, so I came in. Honestly, I spaced out so much, I'll be standing up against the wall being like... And be completely spaced out. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club! We braid hair... Well, they brush my hair. Braid the tips of my hair and we talk about jokes. <laughs> Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. What a rude friend. Uh, meanie. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did because she thought it'd be fun to help start a new club. Oh, hiccups. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Peace. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, can I tell the club yesterday I might bring a new member, please? Oh, please. And they'll still be make cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Girl, how many times do I have to tell you this? I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or she's so cunning as to have it all planned out. And I don't say. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and thus, today, Mouse Day, I sold my soul for a cupcake. That is just, I want that on a t-shirt. Just... I sold my soul for a cupcake, honestly, yes. Mine would be, I sold my soul for a cookie. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! <laughs> I told you don't call me new member, eh? Huh? I glance around the room. Ooh, you look like dark and mysterious. Also, you're very poppy on the chest area. Like, you're like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, calm down. Welcome to the literacy club. Literacy club, if I can say literacy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sayori always said nice things about you. Oh, you look like another one of those girls. What am I going to do for your voice? I got the, uh, and the really deep and mysterious. And then I got my voice. So I am a boy. Um, seriously? No, that's too much like the first one. Ah! <sighs> seriously? No, it was way too high. I can't do that. I was going to be like, seriously, you bought a boy? Um, seriously? You bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, Jara, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. She's very like. Ooh, words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. What is this? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry, jeez. Nazuki. Natu. Ah, I don't know how to say this. Nazuki. I'm going to say Nazuki. Nazuki. Hmm? The girl with Sa Ashi, whose name apparently is Zauki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Sorry, says that quietly into my ear. Oh. 
You can ignore her when she gets moody. It's okay. Sorry says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Nagazuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D -d Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sorry and Nazuki. Oh! Oh, uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Jara. What is that pose? She's like a snake. She's like, let me pop out my butt and my boobs at the same time. She's just like, Hey. It's like, alright then girl, calm down, calm down. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuine feels a little... Um, you, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Jara. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes! Hey, I'm in the cupcakes! I'll get them! I want to make her voice like really like fast because she's full of energy. So you want to be like, Hey, I'm in the cup! I want to get them! Please, 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 please! She's like a yappa dog. Like, bah, 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 bah. Sorry, I, 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 I got a little excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girls had a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Nazuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Nazuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I, see I take a seat next to Sayori. Nazuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta! Ooh! Nozuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes so decorated to look like little cats. Meow. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you was I had no idea you were so good at baking, Nozuki. Oh well you know. Just hurry and take one. Sari grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's Delicious! <laughs> Zuri talks with her mouth full and only manages to get ice in her face. It's delicious! <laughs> I turn the cutlery around my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Nazuki is quiet. Kind of helping her as she sneaky glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Hang. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This. <laughs> This is really good. Thank you, Nozuki. Well, why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did. So you already said... Well, maybe. But that's not for you. You don't know, dummy. Alright, alright. Jeez, calm down, girl. I give up on Nozuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri turns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole- Oh, that's me, sorry. You keep a whole tea set in your classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, it does, Yuri. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I guess. Get me out of here. It's hell. Uh, uh, don't, uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Uh, I, I mean that, you, you know. I believe you're a stress girl. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Actually, I like reading books and tea at the same time. It's a really good pastime, but okay. I'm, I'm glad. Yuri finally smile, smiles to herself in relief. Let's be like, smells herself in relief. <laughs> mm. 
Luca raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori really seems happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. And I mean everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. You're usually a lot worse than this. How come you decided to start your own club? You could possibly be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all those politics around the major clubs. Feels like there's nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it's encouraging others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. You could also nod to head in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Y you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literacy. literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and work wild. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You... Ah, you know it! I've already forgot her voice. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the new idea of a member joining. Though... I still, though I still don't really know if I can keep up the level of the enthusiasm about literacy. So, oh, I missed that. Sorry, I accidentally clicked it. I think it was so Jara. Well, uh, considering how little, oh, so Jara, what have you read lately? Well, um, considering how little I've read in the past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Oh, so what do you read? I lie quietly to myself half jokingly. Nazuki's head perks up. She looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N n n not much of a reader, I, I guess. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. I read, what do you want about? What the hell am I saying? Exactly. I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. Like so. So this ain't a teacup, it's close enough. My favourites are usually novels that build deep complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign world is equi equally impressive. Honestly, that's like my favorite too. I love sci-fi, fantasy novels. Even like Shakespeare, I love reading that. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the, by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Is this girl me? Like, I can relate. Jeez, girl. But, uh, you know... I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually less me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for the loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror once. Never in my life. I just read grab something I can relate to on a minimal level. At this rate, you might as well have been conversation with a rock really I wouldn't have expected that Yuri for someone as gentle as you 
uh, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh, why is that? Well, it's just... Is Yuki's eyes dart over to me for a second? Never mind! <laughs> Oh, I did the wrong voice. Sorry. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nozuki? What? What? I don't remember her voice in mind. I don't care. What? What gives you that idea? Oh, hers was the fast-paced one. You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Does that have out? And give that back! Fine. Fine. You're a cupcake, you're poems. Everything you do is so cute as you are. Sorry slides up behind his and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Nizuki, you write your own poems? Uh well I guess sometimes. <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> I think that's impressive. As someone who's written their own poems, I think that's damn impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, 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 Exposing your vulnerability and showing even the deepest reach of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Nizuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Mm. I guess it's this. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I want to read everyone's poems. We will sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Mm hmm? Mm hmm. Nozuki and Yuri look quite, look quizzedly at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Mm hmm. The three dots I I protect it as. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Plus, now we have a new member. I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of our club. Isn't that right, Jara? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Oh no, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original time of me joining the club, I bloody come forth what, what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry, might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at. Um, at least my train's door. All four girls, girls stare back at me with dejecting eyes. But, but... I'm sorry. I, I thought... Um... <laughs> Jara. Yeah... Yeah, yeah, oh! I'm a defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear decision when it's like this? As if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literacy club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yay! I'm so happy! Sorry, rubs her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! Stop. You really did scare me for a moment. If really came to the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literacy club. Uh, thanks, I guess? Okay, everyone. I think that we can officially end today's meeting and go meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next means we can all share. Monica looks over at me one more time. 
Jara, I look forward to seeing. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. I can really impress the class style Monica with a mediocre writing skill. I already have the anxiety well up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nakazumi, Nakazumi clean up their food. Hey, Jara! Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sari and I never walk home together anymore because she always stays after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us departed the club room and made our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Nakazumi, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Um, yeah. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literacy club? Perhaps I'll, perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure a good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts by writing a poem tonight. Hey, It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Some good might happen. Who's my favorite club member? <coughs> I can only pick three. I'm going to go for Yuri. I think she's my favorite. Can I like... Uh, history. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Okay, I'm gonna save the game. Return. <sighs> okay, so I'm trying to go for your your determination, eternity, melody. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> Analyst. Well, that's not how we spell color in Australia, but that's okay. Existential, hopeless. I'm just picking random ones. Tears. Why? <laughs> I thought you were the happy one. I'm so confused. Child. Oh no. Waterfall. Hurt. Oh no. Was I? Oh no. She jumped for suicide. That's not good. Unending. Headphones of me for life. A uh, secretive, disorientated, incapable nature. I'm just picking words that I like as well as why I think um, Yuri would like. Uh, philosophical and extraordinary. I have no idea who that actually went for. Hi again, Jara. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry, dude. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literacy club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Jara. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literacy when you're not... <laughs> oh, hiccup. Accustomed, accustomed to it. Hey, come on, like he deserves any slack. So you tell me you didn't even want to join the club at any of this year, and last year too. I don't know if you plan to come here just to hang out or what, but if you don't take, don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Ooh, okay. Nazuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga club, manga collection in her club room. M -m 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 Nazuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga's literacy! Swiftly defending, Na Nazuki pulls back in her sleep. Don't worry, guys! Jara always gives it his, always gives it his best after long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work even without asking, like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori! Say Sayori, that's because your room is a messy and it's distracting. Seriously, just clean it for once in your goddamn life, and maybe it might help. Or, you know, and you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little bit jealous. Ooh, you don't have the right to be jealous. I still get jealous. How come? 
you and Jara can become good friends too. Um, um, Sayori, what are you? Shut up! <laughs> huh? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Sayori, come on! Oh, oh! You even brought you something today, you know? <laughs> I was like, no, not anymore. Wait, Sayori. Huh? Me? Me? I just joined, bro. Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. Please, please save me from here. Help me. Oh, God, help me. I'm stuck in this hell. Oh, help me. What is it? Never, never mind. Never mind. Please, please leave me alone. I'm, I'm just trying to hide from the shadows. Help me. Just stop. Uh. So you already made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Just please don't even pay attention to me. I'm, I'm sorry I existed. I apologize. I'm just. Um, what do I do now? I'm panicking. I'm stressing, and I'm just like, I'm not ready for this so much social interaction. I am an introvert, not an extrovert. I just came here because I wanted to get some extra points, and now I'm stressing, and it's just like. <laughs> Sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you was a pleasant surprise. It makes me happy no matter what. Is that so? You're not lying? Please tell me you're not lying. I don't, I don't need more lies in my life right now. Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Uh, Alright, that, so that sounds better. Okay, well, here... You reaches in her bag and pulls out a book. Uh, I, I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it'll keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Then we could, y you know, just discuss it if, if you want. Th 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 this is... This is how... This is... How is this accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Boy! If a boy picked me out a book and he knew I like, I'd be like, you get me on a level that isn't the top level. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. This sounds like a really good book. I don't know the name of it, but sure. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. That's one social interaction down for the day. And I want to go home and snuggle into my anything. Please help me. Oh, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's sewn in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So and Monica are having a cheery conversation cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in her book. Same girl. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Wanting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nozuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. At the same time, I feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of the book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh. Crap. <laughs> I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Uh. But that's only makes her hide her face deeper into her book. Sorry. Just Sorry, I'm just a mess. I'm sorry. I'm just, just, I'm just gonna leave now. Bye. Get me out of here, please. Get me out of this social interaction. Yeah, I fell. I actually fell on the floor. Help me. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I actually did fall on the floor. Okay, I'm back. Guess who's back? Back, back with no food. Food, food. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I do that all the time. Think I could find some space, but nope, can't find it yet. Oh, oh, it's fine. I was focused, and I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so that's the book you gave me, right? Not that precise one, but like, you know, same artist, same cover, same everything. Mm hmm. I, I wanted to reread some of it, not for any particular reason. <laughs> Just curious, how can you have two copies of the same book? 
Uh, well, when I stopped by the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I mean. What I meant, I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. There's something very, very obvious that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'm definitely start reading it soon. I, I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging, relatable story. Is that so? What's it called? I really want to know what this book's called. What's it a What's it about anyway? Well, mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled a portrait of M Markov. There's an ominous, I'm not ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Is this Illuminati? Uh, or, all right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost young sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so... That dark tone came from nowhere. Uh, Yuri... <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Jara? No, it's just not that... I mean, I can definitely enjoy this kinds of story, so don't worry. I, I hope so. Oh god, did I give you a wrong book that you won't like on no stress? Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reluctant on the outside, but her mind seemed to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants you to be evil, but because they have their own goal or their own ph philosophy that they believe in. And suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they may not be a naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I I'm rambling on, I... Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. Bro, don't chill. I ramble all the time. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I like, when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. It's cool being an introvert. It, it, yeah. So, I'm sorry if I end up saying things strange and please stop me if I'm start talking too much that's i really don't think that you need to worry that means you're passionate about reading it's fine don't stress that's the least i can do is listen it's a literacy club after all uh, that's well that's true in fact i might as well start reading it right y you don't have to I'm, I'm sorry if i pressure you into reading a book i apologize <laughs> what are you saying just a moment ago you were saying you're looking forward to it let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. Is it fine if I sit right here? I sit in, in the seat next to Yuri. Uh, yeah? Are you sure? You sound a little stressed out there. You seem a little apprehensive. That, 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 that's, uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not, I'm not very used to, you know, the whole central interaction, having people sit next to me, having people closer to me than, like, a 12-mile radius of me. I don't like feeling people's body warmth. I don't like people being near me. I don't like, you know, humans in general. That is really in company with someone. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully he didn't say me sit here or everything else, because otherwise that would be really, 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 really awkward. Help me. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, 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 Alright, I, I guess. Open the book and start the prologue. As soon as Yuri... I I soon understood what Yuri means about reading in company. As if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but that feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. You realize that she's not looking at her own book. I glance over. It's like she's reading from my book instead. S -s -s sorry, sorry. I was just. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? 
Legit, this girl is me. Like, I apologize for everything. Uh, I do. I, I don't really mean to. Sorry. Uh, I mean, uh, s sorry. I guess I don't know. What do I? What do I say? I. I is this a social interaction I don't really know about? Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up until it's against used, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I, uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit more, our shoulders almost touching. Ew. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead of I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page, huh? Here. Here. Damn! Yuri takes the left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh, I do the same with my right arm, but on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page, Yuri slides under her thumb after it flips to her side. But I'm holding it like this. We're huddled even closer together than before actually kind of distracting me it as is it's as I can feel the warmth of use face and she's in the corner of my vision uh, are you are you ready are you ready for it huh t t t turn the page damn you give me that side eye calm down uh sorry I think I'm going to be distracted for a second by your beauty. I glance over at Yuri's face again and not ask me. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Um, that, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you're being so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volton. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb get gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Y you, you think so? H how does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses a lot of things. And she says and does. Like, she's afraid to do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they kind of resemble of s some of your mannerisms. Uh, I see. You remain silent for a moment. But, 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 Chara. That, that's probably... A, a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, that was a compliment. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. I, like, it, sorry, I didn't know you were so conscious about that sort of thing. Ah, sorry. I try to give this girl a compliment and it's just like, what the hell did I do? Mmm. I guess I, I mean it more that it's kind of cute. Huh? What, 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 what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, I... Okay, everyone. Ah. I think it's about time we shared today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, sparing, sparing her from finishing her thoughts. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry I haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not. It, it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from a book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some reading tonight. Cool. Or I could bef Or would you... Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um... I guess I don't have too much preference either way. Hmm... In that case, I'll read a little bit more tonight. It'd be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That, that's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first few chapters in your own time. Alright! I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back to my bag. 
By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. Can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sari and Monica seems like they pull out their palms. Sari is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral book. On the other hand, Monica writes hers in a composition notebook. I already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Nazuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show the palm to first? I mean, I gotta pick my girl Yuri because that's the one I like aimed it for. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinions to be fair. As Yuri reads the palm, I notice her eyes lightened. Exceptional. Uh, what was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Same. I... Um... He's going to hate me. Uh... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Huh? That's... Uh, I guess you're right. When I'm getting so nervous for... <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So... What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imaginary metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stands blankly at me and then looks at my poem again. Hmm. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the palms, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognise in a new writer is that they try to make their style very deliberable. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and then they form fit the two together. In the end, it's both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once you find her train of thought as if her demona totally changes, her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but then, but then getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Nozuki can be a little biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine, don't stress, dude. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself or me or to Nazuki or to the high gods of heaven. Do you mind if I read your palm now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles genuinely as if a rare moment. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't it supposed to be a literacy club? Damn, she's got cursive. Ghost under the light. Oh, I can't read cursive. Why do people write in cursive? The tendrils on my hair illum illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining sheet light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickling blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calm, breathing air of the present but the living in the past the light flickers i flicker back damn that's a nice poem um i'm sorry you had s i have such terrible handwriting what 
Um, girl, my hair man looks like chicken scratching. Legit, I'm gonna just write something right now on a piece of red. I'm just gonna write. I write hi and how. This is my normal handwriting on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, can, you, can, can, can you see that? Like, that is what you call messy, boy. On my hand, I actually wrote some notes. And this is neat for me. If you can see, it's a bunch of school stuff I need to do and whatnot. Like, that's neat, bro. What the hell was your thing? I wasn't thinking that at all. But, but it took you a long time to read, and it's because I can't read Roman cursive. Ah, uh, I can't read cursive, bro. Well, it's just, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty pretty. Huh? What, what is the definition of pretty? I'm, I'm still searching and analyzing that. I feel like this is like the standard sides. Th that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It, it, it wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I, I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? Huh? <laughs> I am a ghost. Don't tell my secret. Shh. Don't tell the FBI. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Jara. Really? It literally says ghost in there. I'm also telling you the point. Well, I suppose you did glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts and feelings and expression in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In that case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in a last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. I just thought, you know, you're a cool ghost, you like float around, you're looking all cool. That's impressive though. Huh? It, it, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too. Very. Nah. I read this in my sleep, bruh. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Y you think so? Yeah, of course. Uh... You, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Jara. Uh, me too. Who should I show my poem to next? Um, probably Sayori. I don't like Nakazumi, so Sayori the Monica. Sayori! This is a good poem, Jara. Are you sure it's your first time? I may sound like Minnie Mouse. Of course. It's, it's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? Seriously, bro. <laughs> I guess you're right. That's better. But that's why it depressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you would do it, wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. <laughs> Not so much for the fact that I'm sitting in front of you in the club room. Uh, you're welcome. Well, of course. Not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promises. See? See? It's like I said before, Jara. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something you only really good people do. <laughs> Thanks, Sayori. What the hell? I don't know if Sayori sees a full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means for her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sh and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here. Okay. That. Will be my way of thinking of you. Thinking of you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear sh Sunshine, the way you go through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. 
kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleeping from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? And look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If I was if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Same girl, same. I want food. I ate like ten minutes ago. Sayori? This is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? No? Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least you... Well, at least that made you feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It just came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounded just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I need eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Like my cranky crew. You know, what is up my cranky crew? <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. <laughs> yeah. But, but next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'm looking forward to it. Damn, her voice gives me a headache. Drink break. Oh. Monica next. Hi, Jara. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything. I don't know, like. Oh, wait, what? If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Much better of going with the flow up until I settle in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah! Don't worry, Jara. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I have Monica on my poem. Hmm. Great job, Jara. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I understand. Underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low, like camera shot low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, that's not very fair. The whole like snake curl, like, hmm. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that you relax really that kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imaginary and symbolism. Unlike Siri, he likes simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. You relax it when the readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay, sorry, my light is just glitching out. Hold on. Hello. There we go. For some reason, my light wasn't plugged in fully properly. So we just glitched out. My apologies about that flash. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it or just feel it or letting the, them deep analyze all the no I was say nausea, that wasn't right. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuring Yuri has at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. You keep exploring and learning by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying. I'm sure I'll end up trying a lot of things. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. You don't need to feel comfortable just 
put yourself out there and just believe in yourself and you will be fine. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of style, but I'll always help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you're having to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh? Uh? Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be the very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Two-Face. Well, let's read it then. Hole in- oh, look at your scrolls. Okay. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the directions the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbour, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I rear blind, like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of meaningless image. It's like a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Searching forever into everything. Searching forever into anything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you want to call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems we put emphasis on timing between the words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of empathy recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strong. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here is Monica's writing tip for the day. Sometimes when you write a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try it so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just keep moving your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. And I guess Nozuki. Uh, well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Jeez, that's blunt. Like, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? Jesus Christ, I'll pause. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. What the hell was that? Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves and who they are? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! It's like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on your wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess m more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect it from the youngest one here, did you? <laughs> yeah, I guess not. I decided to be humor to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is here, but Nozuki is feeling proud that I won't take that away from her. Phew. 
Guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It is as everyone isn't judging me with me writing abilities. Even if they are just being nice, there's no way that Poms can stand up to it. There's. This is a literacy club after all, I say. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Nari and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Nasuki. They are gingerly explaining sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem and watch each other's expression change, Nukuzuki's eyebrows fur in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuki smiles sadly. What's in this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing! Nozuki dismissively returns the poem back to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Um, thanks. Yours is cute. You get me? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of getting up. How can that be cute? Uh, I, I know that. I just meant the language. I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh? You mean you have to try and have to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Huh! If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Sorry, you liked it, and Jara did too. So based on that, I'm glad to give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Jara liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Nizuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize he was so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's, uh, that's not what I. Oh no. You, you were just. Yuri, stand up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Jara appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more, huh? Why don't I? We're not gonna ask her because no, which is stupid too. Are you full of yourself? I uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um, is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Jara started showing up. Oh, what the hell? What is this madness? Nazuki. Um, Nozuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Uh, I don't like you guys fighting! Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they know I was standing there. Jara, sh she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't happen in the first place. What's the point of point in making your palms all conducive for no reason? The beginning should jump out of the rear and not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Jara. Wait, there's a reason why we have so many deep expressive words in our language. If that's the only way to complex, complain, convey complex feelings and meaning them most effectively, avoiding them is not only necessarily limiting yourself, it is also a waste. You understand that, right, Jara? Um, uh, well... Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. What the hell? Well, who agreements agree with? They're probably gonna think more highly of me. I want to say help me, Sayori, to keep a gender to keep a neutral. But I would have gone for Yuri. Help, Sayori. Nozuki. Nozuki glares me, drying up all the words out of my mouth. Soon as I turn to Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. But Yuri's a person who's so defenseless, I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Uh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Jara? Well, well, that's her problem, isn't it? Her, about her. Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to inject their own feelings into the conflict. Into our conflict. Yeah! 
unless you want to tell Yuri what a suck of jerk she's being. Girl, jeez. She would never. It's your immaturity that makes her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? Is this exactly why? Is that who I know and likes? Stop! Nizuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people and I love them because of their differences. Nozuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. <laughs> Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? But because... Well... Also, Nozuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same, they've always been <laughs> big and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best. What do you mean? You look like the same sizes. What do you on about? Like, honestly. Mm, mm. Sayori. Sayori stands trumpetly. When it come up, stands behind her with beautiful expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Nazumi sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can't blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Terry is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weird suspicious that she knows exactly what's going on. I see! Take good care of her, okay? I wouldn't hate to see her get hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you find sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was a right one mostly! Jara, how about you? Yeah, I'll say same. It was a neat thing to talk to everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poem will turn out even better. Mm-hmm. I think to myself, did I learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes? With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those with whom I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Jara! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sorry beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sorry and I spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Okay, I'm going to leave this episode here because we are an hour and 13 minutes in, so I apologize. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually going to do a quick save because I need to save this. Save game. Awesome. Anything in history? I don't know. Okay. But yeah, anyway, Jara, see you guys in the next video. Sarcasm out. Tell me who your favorite girl is, by the way. And let's bring it in for a race because a hug. Bye bye. See ya. Yuri is my favorite girl, I swear. Although, something weird is happening. I can feel it, but I can't figure out what. Yes.